Welcome back to the channel. My name is Stephen Crone. Today I want to talk to you about why I use a rangefinder camera and why I think it might be helpful for you too. I use the Leica M240 as my everyday kind of carry camera as you've maybe seen from my, some of my previous videos. But why I really enjoy using the rangefinder system over a mirrorless system or like an autofocus system for a couple of reasons. One of those reasons is that when you're looking through the rangefinder, you can see outside of the frame lines. Now when you're shooting on a SLR or like a mirrorless camera, you're actually viewing through the lens and you're seeing exactly what the lens is seeing. This is really, really great for composing shots, really, really great to kind of just see like what your final image is actually going to look like. That clarity is really, really good. However, one of the benefits of using a rangefinder is that you can see outside of the frame lines. And what's really cool about this and why it became so popular in street photography is because you can see what might be walking into frame, what by, might be just outside of frame that you actually want to add and include into your photo. And it's really great for like documenting and documentary photography and street photography and for me just everyday photos again for me being able to just document my son with this camera it's really really helpful because you know we, he might just be in his playroom just playing and i might see a shot that i want to take but just outside of the you know out of the frame lines i might see something that i actually want to recompose a little bit and take the shot differently so many times where i've done that taking photos of my son and also many times where i've done that taking photos of my dog uh it's just really helpful to kind of have that full perspective and kind of see just outside, just in case you want to include that in the photo. Just from a composition standpoint, it's really cool to kind of see that. Another benefit for why I really enjoy using a rangefinder camera is that most of them are manual focus. I've used a lot of autofocus stuff in the past, and I've talked about this on a previous video of why I enjoy using manual focus lenses, but what's really cool about it is the process of zone focusing, or as some people call it, range focusing. This process of seeing the range diagram on the front of the lens really, really helps determine where you can predetermine focusing distance and you can see everything that is within that focusing range that'll actually be in focus. So let's dive in. For instance, if I'm setting my aperture to f4, and you can see that on the scale right here, if I set dead center at 0.9 feet, or sorry, um, 0.9 meters, which is roughly three feet, I can see here that between the lowest part, which is gonna be 0.8 meters, and then just past one meter is gonna be in focus in that range focus, right? So everything within that range at an, F, at an aperture of F4 is going to be in focus. This is really, really cool. And this is really great for documenting, again, my son who is one year old, who is just crawling all over the place, or like my dog who is running all over the place. Pet photography is really hard sometimes for me. At least in my experience, it's been really, really hard um, capturing because pets move a lot and they move fast. Babies move fast and you wanna capture those moments. You can't always just crank up a fast shutter speed just to be able to capture that because you really, sometimes you want that more bokeh, you want that more separation. So you wanna go with a lower f-stop. And so that really helps focus to be able to do that, uh, helps you kind of like predetermine determine what's in there, what's in focus. A lot of range finder like lenses can only do like a minimum focus of 0.7 meters, which is just under two and a half feet. And uh, for me, I know that roughly two and a half feet is just a little bit beyond like my fingertips when I'm stretching my arm out. So I know that I can basically take and I can go stretch my arm out and I can take the camera and I can know that roughly everything at the end of that is gonna start the focusing. And it's really, really helpful for just like crawling on the floor or taking photos of my son. Or, you know, if my dog's crawling around doing something, I can just make sure and snap back and hit it. The other reason why I really enjoy using a rangefinder and what helps it be so fast is that the focusing distance on the lenses themselves is so short. If you used an SLR camera or like a manual focus on an SLR camera or a mirrorless setup before, the focusing throw is so far. So it's really hard sometimes to just to do the same technique on an SLR lens. Don't get me wrong, it is still possible, but it's just a lot harder to grab focused really, really fast. So by using, you know, a using one of these, uh, range finder thing like again you're only going that distance right is the entire throw of the lens from uh, from 0.7 meters all the way to infinity so therefore you can you know be really really fast and snappy and being able to lock in where you want it and with practice and with time you can realize where some of these main spots are so I just know like dead center on the bottom I'm roughly five feet away and I've gotten a lot better at being able to determine what is five feet from me. And then, you know, knowing that all the way at, you know, all the way at the shortest distance, I know that's roughly at the end of my arm and I know all the way at the other end is gonna be infinity. So therefore I've been able to practice 
and get a lot faster at grabbing focus when I want to. And again, predetermining what focus you want, that's faster than autofocus. I mean, that's fast. So because the focusing is so short, therefore these lenses are just a lot smaller. Like again, this 35 millimeter Voigtlander is so tiny. Like it's just, it's so small. This Leica is a full frame lens, is a full frame camera, but yet having that size, like a full frame lens, like you can't get that on, on a mirrorless setup or on anything else. And so it just makes it so pocketable. I mean, it's kind of a little bit big to throw in a pocket, but you can throw it in a jacket pocket. You can throw it in a bag really, really easily and not have to carry around such a huge setup to be able to get that focal length. 35 is I think often the smallest um, lenses that you can find. 28s get a little bit bigger and then 50s and on, they kind of still get a little bit bigger, but it's just pretty insane how small and because the optics don't need to be all that big because those focus, the focusing mechanism is just so much more compact. Using an autofocus system on like a mirrorless or a DSLR setup is great for many, many things, but I found that for pet photography and honestly for what I do most of the time, like just documenting stuff, it sometimes gets in the way. It often will focus on like a dog's nose rather than on a dog's eye where I need it to. Whether that's like the dog needs a haircut and so hair is getting in the way of their eyes, so therefore the camera can't fully grab focus on eyes, so therefore it grabs the next thing that it looks like, so on in the front of their nose. And that just doesn't like grab the full focus and doesn't allow the full face to be in focus where I want it to be. And often, you know, it's just skipped focus ever so slightly and had a lot more luck using a rangefinder to be able to lock those in. So let's also quickly talk about how to focus a rangefinder camera. One of the, you know, biggest things, like what is actually the rangefinder? The rangefinder is that this little patch in the center of the viewfinder that you basically just takes the spot and it picks the most contrasting, like if you choose a pretty contrasty area and you focus it, that patch, um, you can determine what the center point of the focus is going to be by basically aligning the two images. So it's basically like a translucent image over the top of another image and you're basically just trying to line those up and that determines what is in focus. Sometimes it's really, really hard on old, like on old film cameras, like the rangefinder patch actually gets like really, really dull and it's really hard to see. I had an old Canonette for a while and while I loved that old film camera, the rangefinder patch was very, very faint. It's really easy if you point it at something contrasty. So like if you can find something that you want focused um, that is contrast. Often I try to line up on people the edge of their face um, to try to like determine, you can see this line right here and you can try to like line it up. Or if I'm, you know, trying to hit the eye, you know, I'll hit like right on the edge of the nose and try to make sure that I'm hitting that and just know just past, just a little bit farther is gonna be the eye and it's gonna hit focus. And then also, if you're shooting anything else like cars or anything like that, you can always just find the edge of something in a high contrast area and it'll hit focus there. So sometimes when I'm composing, for instance, for like a portrait or for something, you know, I'm trying to just capture, I will focus camera on somebody's face and their eye to make sure that that distance is focused correctly and then I will recompose the shot without moving where I'm at. I will focus, make sure the center of focus, so like put the person in the center of the frame, focus to their eye, and then from there I'll move it and actually put them where I want them in the frame, whether it's in the thirds or it's, you know, what other rules that you want to follow, like camera um, photography tips and rules and stuff. At that point, I will determine where I want them in the frame, but I, now that I know that they're locked in and they're focused where I want them to be. The key with rangefinders is just practice, practice, practice. Uh, one thing, you know, I just kind of have fun sometimes. I'll just pull my camera out and without even like snapping a photo, I'll just see like, can I determine what that distance is? And I will try to like pick a distance between here, between me and, you know, the edge of my bed or between me and the end of the coffee table or something like that. And I will try to just determine, okay, can I guess what that distance is? And then I will me get better at guessing distances so that I can you know really be confident when I do range focusing to be able to know that that's actually the distance that I want it to be. So those are my couple of tips for why I enjoy using a rangefinder system. Let me know in the comments down below why you enjoy using a rangefinder system or why you enjoy using you know, other cameras and let's uh let's try to help each other um, get better at our photography and yeah subscribe if you enjoy these kind of videos. I'm hoping to do more camera stuff here in the future and let's just continue to Take photographs, take memories, and uh, yeah. So I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye. Quiero sobrepasar los límites de tu figura, bajar por tu cuerpo y llevarte a las alturas. Tenerte sería una experiencia religiosa. Ese maón es otra cosa. Sigue.